Okay, Assalamualaikum and Salam Chatra. Uh, welcome to IS205 lecture series and to this topic on the financial analysis that is ratio. Okay, first of all, I would like to show you the answer for our previous lessons, the adjusted trial balance. So if you may check your adjusted trial balance, it should be uh, 1,106,275 for the total adjusted dry balance and for adjusting entries should be the 133,925 so once you have these um, balances that, so your answer is correct and for the financial statement uh, you should have the gross profit of 254350 and the net profit is 100,055 ringgit and the total um, asset and total of equity and liability should be at 519,180. So you have those um, balance figure and the figured growth profit and net profit just now. So your financial statements are correct. Now we look into the ratios calculation. So what we have here, okay, we have here current asset, asset test ratio, cost profit margin, net profit margin, inventory turnover, and account receivables collection period. So these are the ratios that we cover in this video. So current ratio, uh, you may refer the notes that I share with you or any other books on financial analysis. So current ratio formula is current asset divide with current liability. So uh, what you do is press equals to and goes to the independent worksheet of financial statement. Um, current rich, uh, a total current asset that this is the figure and divide with total current liability 61625 and that so this is the um current ratio so if your answer is more than two decimal point you can use a, a decrease decimal point uh, at the home tab button so here you have decrease decimal point and acid test ratios uh, is uh, the formula is um, total current asset deduct with closing inventory and also deduct with prepayment expenses if there is and divide with total current liability so again equals to and remember to put the bracket so that you tell CSL to calculate which uh, calculation to do first. So we need to calculate the total current asset deduct with the total uh, the closing inventory and also if there is any prepayment expenses. Then we have here the example of prepayment medical insurance so we need to deduct this first and close to bracket and divide with total current liability so that is the answer and gross profit margin uh, is total gross profit and divide with the net sales so we have the uh, total cost profit of 254350 and divide with net sales. So we don't have the net sales, we only have sales. So just use this figure. Because the sales is represent the net sales, we don't have the discount and the returns, sales returns. Okay, then uh, gross profit divide with the sales and if your answer do, are not in the percentage form you just goes to again to the home tab button 
the to home tab and click it and change it to percentage style then your answer you give you the percentage one okay then the net profit margin uh, again the formula is very simple the same goes uh, same with uh, gross profit margin so your net profit divide with the net sales but again if you do not the answer is not in the percentage form you can change it uh, using the home tab button and the inventory turnover before you calculate the two turnover uh, you need to calculate the average inventory so you um, do somewhere else the average inventory if you include even uh, average inventory uh, in um other mm, it, it could uh, mislead your calculations so average inventory is opening inventory opening inventory oh i forgot must put the bracket first opening inventory add with closing inventory and divide by two so this is, is the amount of average inventory so inventory inventory turnover uh, the cost of goods the formula is the cost of goods sold okay this is the amount of cost of goods sold and divide with the average inventory so that is uh, the average the the figure that you should have and the answer for the inventory is time so you have 5.6 times okay a car superbowls is uh, the formula is uh, a car superbowls divide with the credit sales so if you look into the financial statement so we have the a car super figure but we do not have the credit sales information we only have the sales figure so if you do not have the credit sales then you can use the sales figure all right so we do uh, account suppose divide with credit sales for this case we only have the sales figure and the answer must be multiplied with 365 that is the number of days in a year press enter so this is the answer is 21 days okay that's how you calculate the ratios uh, using excel Thank you for watching and watch out for the next video for ICE 205 lecture series.